Hello everybody, this is Rich Cispedes, and uh, I'm here to show a demonstration of uh, um, the phantom limb effect. If you guys don't know what phantom limb is, a phantom limb effect is when a person has their arm or leg, but in this case an arm or a hand um, um, amputated due to an accident or because of a sickness or disease or something like that. But most likely it's with a a car accidents or machinery accidents. And the thing is, though, is that what they do is that so they can have therapy because the phantom limb people, they usually feel as though their arm is there, even though it's not. And so for therapy, what they do is they create a phantom limb kind of effect box. And this is kind of like a too long of a box to, to kind of describe it. It's just a big mirror. But they create a big box. They put a mirror in the center of it and two holes in the box for, for both hands to go in. And it's very self-explanatory, very simple. I, I, I recommend you guys looking it up, the phantom limb effect. And um, the person can put their hand here inside the other side and their hand here. So they can kind of see, basically, the hand over here is supposed to represent the hand on the mirror right there. But it's just a, you know, a, a visual effect or a reflection. But what happens is that since they don't have no hands, they have to look at the reflection so that they can see, they, they, get, they get close like this. So that they get tricked their mind into thinking that their hand is normal because they, they feel a sense of discomfort. The phantom lip gives them a sense of discomfort. It makes them feel strange. It makes them feel uncomfortable. So this helps to treat that by tricking, tr tricking the brain into believing that everything is all right and that the hand is still there even though it's amputated. And so what I'm going to do is that with psychokinesis, what this is, is that um, we're, what we're doing when we're moving objects with sidewalls, things like that, we're using a phantom limb type of effect. We're projecting our object and moving a sidewall from a distance. And even when you have it around your hands and all that. And what I'm going to do is going to show a demonstration using this uh, plate of water and this can. And I'm going to utilize a certain phantom limb demonstration, psychokinesis, telekinesis slash phantom limb demonstration. I'm not going to put my hand behind here. I'm going to pretend my arm is amputated. And I'm going to put my hand right here and the can is going to be in the center and it's going to float toward the mirror hand, the hand that's on the reflection. And that's going to be a demonstration to show the phantom limb effect in that you could create a presence of a hand on the other side of the mirror, hence creating a phantom limb effect, which is what we're doing with telekinesis. And this can probably help even people that have amputated their arms. Hello everybody, it's Rich Sis, but it's Van Kent Spear. And I'm here with a demonstration to demonstrate the phantom limb telekinesis effect, which is basically when we're moving objects with telekinesis from a distance or up close, controlling an object, fully controlling it, what we're doing is that we're creating an extension of our arms, our, our presence, our body, and controlling the object, which is basically a phantom limb. Basically, telekinesis, telekinesis is phantom limb. And the thing is, though, is that this is a thing, a mirror that people use to use treatment for phantom limb. Phantom limb is when you lose your arm in amputee and the person needs to use it so that even though this arm is cut off, they look inside here and it quiets the mind. It tricks the mind to think that it's there and they uh, it softens the psychological, emotional and physical problems of that, which causes anxiety and things like that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show a demonstration. I'm going to project my energy on the other side, the projection of my left hand here on the back of the mirror, and that projection on my thermal biological energy is going to attract the can toward the reflection of the hand in the mirror. So I'm going to project my thermal biological energy behind the hand, my left hand energy behind it, but my hand is not going to be there. It's going to be all mental projection. My hand's going to be on my lap. So without further ado, You can watch the, the tutorial on how to do this too. I recommend that. Let's get straight to it. Hello everybody, this is Rich Sispedis, and I'm just here just trying to show a uh, how I kind of came about doing this demonstration, setting everything up. This is a big old long mirror that I have here. I could have got like a uh, more smaller mirror, but this one was just good enough for the demonstration. I want to make a video about the phantom limb uh, um, practice box that the, the amputees use. Therapy box, I guess you could say. And it's just a very simple thing, very simple setup. 
You just put you, you, the, the amputee sits, sits up real close, and they get up real close, and they put their hand right there, and they see the reflection of their hand right inside there. And they look at it to get some therapy and to kind of uh, settle down their psychological state, which which then translates into physical state because they feel kind of strange without the amputee, uh, the leg or the arm. It, makes, it feels like it's there and it gives them anxiety and depression and all that. But I want to demonstrate that you can do it with psychonesis. You could develop and ma uh, manifest a phantom limb and move an object without having to have the arm really there, which is what we're doing. When you move a side wheel from a distance, you're projecting your presence that that's a phantom limb and i i just wanted to make a video demonstrating this in a larger scale like a very detailed intricate example of what psychonesis is when we project and do things from a distance telekinesis so this is it man just practice with it there's some boxes on um, that you can buy online the real phantom limb training kits and uh, and i recommend people who have real amputees who suffer from phantom limb Practice with your box, with your little setup, and try to watch my videos, my tutorials on how to do a can of water or side wheels. Maybe you can spin a side wheel with your uh, missing arm. You can do it, man, just by watching the reflection. Thank you, guys. God bless. I want to share it with you a little bit of wisdom. The phantom limb. Telekinesis.